Hi, today we are going to learn how to customize the review form. CM Reviews and Ratings allows your users to leave reviews and rate posts, pages and products on your site. The plugin is highly customizable and flexible, so you can configure it according to your needs and manage all reviews. Before customizing the review form itself, let's shortly consider how to display the review form under posts, pages and other custom post types. There are two ways to do this – automatically and manually. Let's start with automatic method. To display the review form with all reviews and ratings related to each post, navigate to CM Reviews – Settings. A few options that we need are located under the General tab. Auto Add Shortcode – This automatically adds the reviews and ratings functionality to any chosen post type you wish. This saves you the hassle of adding the shortcode to each post manually. Choose Post Types In this option you need to select Post Types, Standard and Custom, where the Reviews and Ratings plugin functionality will work automatically. Just select needed types by checking the relevant boxes. When you finish configuring, don't forget to save the changes by clicking the button Update. Now the Reviews and Ratings form will be displayed on every post that we have chosen. Manual method This method of displaying the reviews and ratings model demands placing the shortcode CMR General in the chosen by you posts in any place you want. This shortcode displays the review form according to the plugin settings with all reviews and ratings related to this post. You can use this shortcode even if the option Auto Add Shortcode is enabled. Using this shortcode, you can change the position of the reviews and ratings model in the post. Now when we know how to enable the reviews and ratings model in our posts, it's time to customize the review form. First tab that we need is called Review Form. It allows you to configure what will be displayed in the form for posting a review. It has three sections with options, let's consider them one by one. You can find the following options in the first section. Form Display – It has three options for how to display the review form to your users. Form always visible – The review form will be visible in the post all the time. Form appears on click – The review form can be shown or hidden by clicking on the relevant button. Form appears on click inside a pop-up – The review form will appear inside a model window by clicking the relevant button. Form position – Choose where the review form will be displayed – either above or below the reviews and ratings list in the post. Require a rating Decide if the rating should be required when adding a review. Fields required to fill – This is where you can set which fields on your front-end review form should be displayed and required – title, content or both of them. Use editor instead of text area for content. Enables a rich editor that supports formatting and HTML instead of the default simple one. Custom fields position – Define where custom fields should be located above the review title, below the review title, or below the review content. Enabled an image If this option is enabled, the user can attach an image in the review. Include a video If this option is enabled, the user can share a video in the review. Second section allows you to enable reCAPTCHA for leaving reviews and ratings. reCAPTCHA helps you to improve the security and protect your site from undesirable bots, spam and flooding. Show reCAPTCHA – Enable it to display reCAPTCHA on your review form. You can choose between regular reCAPTCHA and simple reCAPTCHA. reCAPTCHA site key and reCAPTCHA secret key – To make reCAPTCHA work, you need to enter site and secret keys. You can easily get them by clicking on the link and following the instructions by Google. Have a note that the plugin is compatible with reCAPTCHA v2, so choose this option when creating API keys. Last section contains only one option – allow user to share his review. Enable it to let users to share their reviews on Twitter and Facebook. When you finish configuring the review form settings, click the button Update. Next tab is additional custom fields. This tab has great form builder, so you can add lots of custom fields to your review form. The editor is very flexible and allows you configuring custom fields according to your needs. The editor provides the drag and drop area and the default fields next to the area. Let's add here two additional fields that will request for the user's name and date of birth. 
The admin can make each field required or not, add tooltips per field with more detailed information, edit CSS class, default values and more. You can apply the following actions to each field – edit, copy and remove. Don't forget to save the changes by clicking the button Update. Users can rate the post in the review form. Standard icons for rating the post look like stars. You can customize them in the Ratings tab. The options that we need can be found under the Rating Selection section. Rating Selection – here you can choose between three options. Star – will be displayed standard stars icons. Predefined icon – will be displayed one of two predefined icons. You can choose predefined icons in the relevant option below. Custom icon – will be displayed custom icons that you upload and put a URL to these images. Fields for URLs are located a bit lower. Let's choose this option for our use case. Custom icon and custom icon for rating form. Add custom icon sets for the ratings and the review form. You need to upload the images with icons to your media library and put URLs to these images in the corresponding fields. Follow the requirements to images with icons. Have a note that in both of these cases, all three versions of the icon must be placed on one image. Now click the button Update. Next tab is Labels. Labels are words and text that are displayed on the front end. You have full control over this text and can edit or translate any of them according to your needs. The plugin has lots of labels. Labels that are needed for customizing the form for adding a new review are located under the section Add new review form. Don't forget to click the button Update after changing the labels. Last tab that we need for customizing the review form is Style. There are lots of options for customizing front-end styles. A few options are relevant for customizing the review form. You have full control over the color theme for your front-end review form. The color text field will accept any valid RGB, HSL or hex color code and of course you have the option to switch back to the default color by clicking the button Clear. The relevant options are Form color Form text color theme Form Submit button background color Two options, the color of the stars in form after selecting or hovering and the color of unselected stars in review form are relevant in case if you chose star in the option Rating Selection. And one more option, Disable form style. Although we have created a standard and generic design for the form to try and cater to every website look, we are aware that some users might want to change this form design. Disabling our form style will remove all CSS properties from the review form and will leave you with a skeleton form which you can leave as is to inherit your theme's form style or style yourself using the CSS class CMR form custom, which is automatically added to the form element so you can easily target it and its child elements when styling the form. When you finish styling the review form, click the button Update. Customizing the review form is finished. Now let's see the result on the front end. The user rates the post, fills all standard and custom fields, adds an image and a video, completes recapture and can share his review on Twitter or Facebook. As a result, his review will be placed under the post and on one of his social media. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to customize the review form according to your needs. Thanks for watching the video.